Welcome to Bryan Station High School. You know us by our games, our awards, our programs, but there is so much more about the Defenders you may not know. Join us for a glimpse into the station to see the way we do the things we do. time to get from one class to the next here at Station, but somehow we always find time to spread a little gossip and exchange deep thoughts with friends. Brian Station High is made up of hundreds of personalities, we're academians, we're athletes, but we're all defenders. Here's a glimpse at some of the faces that makes us unique. What's special about Bryan Station when compared to other high schools? Um, Bryan Station has a lot of uh, team uh, spirits. Because we stay real and the rest of them don't. I feel that Bryan Station is the best school because everyone gets along well. The teachers are really nice. They help us, you know, if we have a problem, they help us with whatever our problem is. Good athletes, of course. Good sports programs. Classrooms give us the opportunity to grow in our varied academic areas, from science to math, language to social studies, learning can be fun. And now here's some comic relief from the halls of Bryan Station High School. A few students are going to tell some of their jokes. Why did the doctor take his eye chart into the classroom? He wanted to check the pupils. <laughs> what kind of melon can't run away and get married? Give up a cantaloupe. <laughs> okay, why were the baby strawberries crying? Because their mom and dad were in a gym. Our Defender Pride is awesome. From the freshmen to the seniors, everyone is a cheerleader and dancer at our pep rallies. Take a look at the Defender Kingdom and listen. What's your favorite thing about school pep rallies? I like the school unity, the whole school coming together as one. To show school pride. I think it's because students can assemble in a positive way and show their school spirit. It gets me hyped so I can hit more field goals. To help show our school spirit. It's a real fun way to get everybody's spirit up for tonight's game and hopefully more people will come than usual. We just need a lot of support from all the school and faculty and everything and I mean it just gets me hyped for the game. One of the highlights of this year's football season was our defeat of the Henry Clay Blue Devils, who eventually became the state runners-up. 
Charles Lincoln, Trey Moore, Wendell Childs, Bernie Adams, and Lawrence Coleman made the All-City team. team had a successful year and made a run at a state championship with Richie Thompson leading the way. Even though 1995 was a rebuilding year, our boys soccer team had a winning record. Sophomore Mario Velasquez made the All-State Honorable Mention team. soccer team had their best season ever. Amy Dunham and Cameron White made the All-City team. Our girls volleyball team had the honor of being the first to play on our new gym floor. Homecoming week, we wore hats, pajamas, and school colors to show our Defender pride. Several students showed their hidden personalities on Halloween. A week full of homecoming events was capped with the presentation of homecoming court at halftime on Friday night. Shamia Gill was all smiles after being crowned homecoming queen. Tommy Cruz was proud to be named her king. It was a great evening for everyone. Part about homecoming week is the game. My favorite part of homecoming is the game. My favorite part about homecoming is, I guess, the pet rally so I can act a fool and it be normal. Well, I say my favorite part about homecoming week is the events leading up to the homecoming. Uh, all the activities going on is real fun being around Brown Station with all the homecoming activities going around on school. We didn't have a homecoming dance this year, but everyone had a great time at the parade through High Acres and the bonfire here at Bryan Station Stadium.
The horns, the drums, the precision, it all adds up to great halftime entertainment. We were really proud of our 95-96 band. This was Harambe's best year. The addition of new members made their performances even more enjoyable to listen to. Some of our best lessons are learned outside the classroom. Here's a look at our students at their after school jobs. It's hard to get back just to put a smile. If you think Cindy Crawford and Fabio are good, take a look at some of our models. Believe it or not, Mr. Shelton won the lottery and is still teaching at Brian Station just for the love of it. The cool at school this year. The online services exploded, bringing the internet world into millions of homes and offices. The most hyped new product in years, Windows 95, had PC users buzzing and upgrading. Television's top ten was dominated by the half-hour situation comedy. Friends, Sybil, Seinfeld, and Frazier kept us laughing. Jane Seymour and Jimmy Smith were marquee names in prime time, but ER continued to steamroll as the number one drama. We went to the movie theaters in record numbers. The big hits included Apollo 13. The hottest new stars, Brad Pitt, and the girl next door, Sandra Bullock. Sharon Stone and John Travolta showed star staying power. There was a new James Bond. Jim Carrey earned a record salary for another Ace Ventura film. Whitney Houston starred in Waiting to Excel. But the surprise box office success went to Babe, featuring a talking pig, and the first fully computer-generated feature film, Toy Story, an example of computer-dominated graphics in print and video. Here are some of Blind Station's finest, from diapers and pacifiers to baggy jeans and t-shirts. We've come a long way. Have you ever wondered what goes on behind these doors? Come on in. This is what happens to you after you have taught a while. You tend to want to sleep whenever you can. These folks will get quite a bit of sleep in the next 20 minutes. Well, there you have it. They do out of class what most of us do in.
Brian Station's chorus and orchestra are hitting all the right notes, so much that the chorus traveled to New York City this year to sing in Carnegie Hall. And here are the top 10 reasons for being a Bryan Station Defender. Reason number 10 is the friendly security guards like Officer Ray. Number 9 is because every Thursday is Little Caesar's Pizza Day. Number 8 is because it smells like tar. Number 7 is the best sports. Number 6, best school lunch in town. Number five, we are the best maintenance. Number four, because of the Cuba defending me. It's the most diverse school in Kentucky. The number two reason is because of our lovely principal, Miss George. The number one reason why it's good to go to Brown Station is because it's better to be in a Commodore, a General, a Bulldog, and a Blue Devil. Mm. Believe it or not, McKimmy Cunningham is the vice mayor of the micro city government. The most creative pickup line that I've ever used is to uh, put my name and number on a napkin and walk by a girl in a restaurant and drop it and then pick it up and say, excuse me, I think you dropped this. The most creative way a guy asked me out was hand me a rose and ask me out. And I said yes. Yeah. One time a girl tried to ask me out, but I was too busy watching cartoons. And... As a boy came to my job and he gave me flowers, and balloons. <laughs> ready for this. The defenders had an outstanding season with a record of 22 to 8. They also were 43rd district champs with Juwan Brown and Eric Brown leading the way. The Lady Defenders were rebuilding the season. They had exceptional play from Terry Young. The Defender swim team had a good season this year, led by the Italian stallion, Francesco Magini. The wrestling team worked hard this year, led by Tim Vickery, Jamie Baker, and Jamar Patterson. Good job, guys.
Josh McKinney and Timmy Cunningham were ahead at McGalpin's Prom Fashion Show. They know how to strut their stuff on the catwalk. The ROTC ball was a bat. Even though these guys may be defending our country someday, look at all the fun they're having. I don't really remember any much about my first day at Brown Station, but I do remember getting Mr. Cuffy as a homeroom teacher, and if anybody else ever gets him as a teacher, I'll pray for you. My first day here at Bryan Station, I was walking up the stairs, and I tripped over my own feet and fell flat on my face. My first day at Bryan Station, I was late to almost all my classes because everybody told me the wrong way to go. I went to the wrong class, and the teacher called me out in front of all the seniors. The newcomers here at BS seemed to adjust quickly. By the end of the year, you couldn't even tell who the rookies were. freedom than I did in middle school. The food's better, and there's a lot more people, and the food's better. <laughs> Some of the artists that caught the eyes and ears of students this year. By the time 225 rolls around, those of us that are fortunate to have cars are anxious to go. Mr. Hall, would I go to the bathroom, please? Please. No. Excuse me, get settled down now. We'll be here with a nice spring break. Um, yeah, okay. Let's take out your books. We're going to have a pop quiz today. Uh, uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. Hey, y'all know what? I'm hungry. Y'all want to go get some rallies or something to eat? Let's go to rallies. This curve will never catch us. <laughs> so, you got a problem? <laughs> Give me your dreams, playboy. All right. <laughs> you all believe there's only 35 days left. Yeah. 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 So small yeah. about this length, uh -huh. about this width, uh -huh. about this flow. In the world, believe me, nothing make a man feel better than a woman. Queen with a crown. <laughs> Just look around here at Station and you'll see a great mix of personalities. You may see different colors, shapes, and sizes, but we all get along.
the class of 98 kicks a salute to the super sophomores. Welcome to the blind section class of 1998. <laughs> now that I'm done like my freshman year, you know, it's like everything's a lot more easier because it's not as stressful to get to class. I like being a sophomore because you're not a freshman anymore. I like being a sophomore so I can make fun of the freshmen like they did me last year. Those who dare to eat the cafeteria food take life into their own hands. With all joking aside, check them out enjoying their meal. Five ninety six Sports, setting a record of endurance, Cal Ripken, saying goodbye to a hero, Mickey Mantle, celebrating Atlanta's first World Series championship, the Braves. Northwestern emerged as the Cinderella story in college football, but Nebraska won its second straight national title. The Colorado Avalanche, Stanley Cup champions, the Chicago Bulls, NBA champions. Tennessee won the women's college championship, Kentucky top Syracuse for the men's title. Steffi Graft kept winning, and Monica Sellis made a comeback, as did Mike Tyson. And Atlanta prepared to play host to the world in the 96 Olympics. Believe it or not, hello, I'm Naisha Owens, the reigning Miss Black Lexington. And believe it or not, I'm Jason Coffey, former Mr. Black Lexington. We had an outstanding season this year, highlighted by a trip to California and a trip to the regional tournament. Senior standouts Bernie Adams and Greg Troy were great. The highlights of the Lady Defender softball season included three wins over the district rival Henry Clay, as well as Shannon Lamb and Kim Mays being on the all district team. This year's boys and girls tennis team had a great season led by senior James Ebert and junior Lisa Dobson. Watch out Boris and Steffi. The track team had an outstanding season led by seniors Cassandra Hill, ranked fourth in the state, and also Wendell Childs, ranked first in the 200 dash. With the year winding down, there were many presentations and awards. Check out the ROTC at the Marriott receiving their honor unit commendation for the eighth year in a row, a national record. Many seniors were named to receive honors and scholarships during Senior Award Night at Acres Auditorium.
the junior class president. I'm Sarah Miller, and I'm the junior class vice president. I'm Amanda Raker, and I'm the junior class secretary. I'm Stacy Esker, and I'm the junior class treasurer. And so the class of 97. The class of 97 is really the class of the school. We did it all, from ACT and SAT tests to putting on the plum. The juniors showed the school what it's all about. It's more than just lectures here at Bryan Station. Students get hands-on in drafting, woodworking, and metals. The play you're a good man, Charlie Brown, was a hit. It was one of the first musicals that Station has done in years. Check out our Charlie Brown, sophomore Jacob Duggar. My back itches so badly. Oh, no, From our assistant principals to our attendance clerk and favorite teachers, thanks for a job well done. You are appreciated. we have rules. We have rules for the rules. But when the class of 96 gathered for the annual senior dinner dance, there were no rules. No matter how we flipped it, we always 96 it. One hundred fifty-one people, many of them students, are now known dead in the blaze that raced through a Manila discotheque. Tensions between Taiwan and China continued to simmer. Today, China launched a new round of large-scale military exercises. Dole now has 1,000 delegates. That's more than he needs to secure the Republican nomination. About 280,000 federal workers remain off the job today, almost two weeks after the budget impasse triggered a partial government shutdown. And the outstanding teacher of 1995 is Richard Ruffalo. The Federal Trade Commission reportedly is preparing to overhaul the way that tobacco companies advertise nicotine and tar ratings. After years of delays, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame finally opened its doors. 
Hail, hail rock and roll. Beatles become gear again as the Fab Four come to TV and John Lennon's voice is added to a new song. Believe it or not, in the early 1960s, Mrs. Clark marched and sat in demonstrations with Dr. Martin Luther King. Friends, in sixth grade, we got one more year to go. This is my boy right here. I'm going to second grade. We're about to get out this mug. Yeah. You know what? This is my friend Carrie, and uh, we've been friends since about third grade. Friends forever! <laughs> Best friends for life. Some arrived in style at the Bryan Station Junior Senior Prom. You could feel the excitement and anticipation in the warm Kentucky air as the festive evening was about to begin. You could find our defenders at their best at Prom 96, Moonlight and Roses on May 24th, 1996. The atmosphere was high-tech, the sound was sensational at the presentation. All eyes were on the lucky couple as they were crowned king and queen. Being nominated prom queen was special for my senior year. I'm glad I got it. This has been a wonderful school year, the year 1995-96. I have so much to be proud of. Um, I'm proud every day of the students at Bryan Station, but their accomplishments this year have been tremendous. Uh, the Bryan Station ROTC unit getting honor unit for eight consecutive years, uh, maintaining that national ranking that they have, the numbers of students that we had who were honored at our academic boosters banquet, our participation in sports, in uh, football, basketball, baseball, making it all the way to the district uh, tournament. All these things I hope have made Bryan Station this year a wonderful place for all of our students to participate, but especially for our seniors. Dear seniors, this message is for you. You know I love you, and I hope that we have a great life. If you need anything in the future, please come and see me. I am proud of you, as you know, and you're the best kids I've ever met. Believe it or not, Coach Washington played in the NBA for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Graduation, finally. Four years of learning and making memories culminates with a diploma. Bryant Station seniors had plenty of smiles when handed their degree. Stephen Pointer was an inspiration to all of us with his valedictory address.
graduates of Bryan Station, class of 96. It was these people who helped us to discover who we really are. To never have sunlight on your face. When they taught you right from wrong, that path your ministers preached about. Sometimes you live. and sad, laughter and tears. Goodbye to Bryan Station, but hello to the rest of our lives. But we'll cherish the memories made here forever. a great year. We'd like to thank the faculty and staff at Bryan Station for all their cooperation. We'd really like to thank Mrs. O'Brien and Miss George for letting this video be produced. And thanks to Bruce Thomas for dedicating his time to make it a success. We love you, B.S. Right now, the multimedia you're...